Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I will show you how to access applications virtually using the App Stream online applications and uh, for that you need of course um, credential provided by your institution in this case it's Humber College so what you have to do is First, go to your browser and type myapps.humber.ca. It will take you to the sign in. Don't sign in using username and password. Click on Microsoft 365 sign in. And of course, it will ask you for your credential. You type in your credential. The username and password that you use to access any uh, sites on your institution in this case at Humber College so once you enter your username and password if you have the authentication through third party make sure you click on that and once you're done it will take you to the my app stream applications so once you're in it's going to ask you only the first time this question if it's the first time you're using the apps anywhere on this device or if you've used it already if you haven't used it already of course you need to click on this and you need to install a small add-in for app stream to work so once the file is downloaded You need to go and run it. Just a matter of click next, done, and you're in. So you will, it will take about a minute or two, depending on your machine. It's installing apps anywhere on your device. And once it's done, all you have to do is click done here and the installation is complete and now you can access any application virtually so once that is done it will show you here that it's validating your account through Humber and once the validation is done you will see this window here and you will see that you have several applications you have about 180 applications to use that are available for you and this is what we are interested in AppStream now for AppStream there are two choices one is a standard and the other is graphic design since we're using it only for SPSS or Excel you don't need the graphic design the graphic design is usually for graphical or graphic software such as AutoCAD which require some uh, heavy add-ins so just choose standard and it might ask you to enter your password one more time and once you click on either standard or graphic design I recommend standard it will take you to the app stream on Amazon and uh, it will take about a minute or two as you can see here to load so be patient if it asks you as I said to enter your password one more time you can do that so here it's done with the installation process it did ask me for my password again I entered it and it's connecting to your Humber account So once it's done validating your account, you will have kind of a desktop in the browser. Of course, it's a virtual desktop. And of course, you will have two tabs. Make sure you're on the Amazon AppStream tab. This is the tab that we use to access AppStream. So now the next step would be click on the my app here on the virtual desktop
and it will open similar to what we had earlier. So as you can see now, the number of apps available is different once you're inside. It shows that you have 262 available application. There are still some ap application that they're not available. Depends on your uh, school or faculty that you belong to. So instead of going through all of them, we're just going to look for SPSS. This is the modeler, so you don't need to worry about this. This is what we need. Once you move your mouse over it, all you have to do is click launch and it will load SPSS inside the virtual desktop. It takes time to load, so also be patient. You will see that it opens the cloud paging player that you downloaded. It shows that now SPSS is running and you can start with SPSS virtually. But before we do that, there's something that's very important that you have to do, which is setting up your virtual folder using OneDrive, because you cannot upload files directly from here. So you see, I cannot start or open a file from, upload it from my desktop or from my folder. And similar to downloading app stream for the first time, you have to set up this only once. But sometimes if you lose connection, you might have to set it up again. So to do that, we're going to go to the My Files here. It's the icon over here that looks, that looks like a folder. You're going to click on it. And you're going to click on Add Storage. And of course, you're going to choose OneDrive. So click on the folder here, My Files, Add Storage. OneDrive and you need to log in to your account and Humber provides you with one terabyte, terabyte of cloud space. So when you click on that it will give you a message after you log in telling you that this is not associated with Microsoft. Of course click accept and you can see now that your OneDrive, your Humber OneDrive is available over here. So any files you want to save, download when you finish working with SPSS or upload to work with SPSS, it, you have to do it in the OneDrive Humber account. So you go to your OneDrive, log in using Humber account, not your personal email account, put the files there and they will be available over here. The same idea when you finish working with SPSS, it's very important to save the files on the OneDrive because once you close your session, you're going to lose access to these files. If you don't save them, when you close the session, they are deleted. So before you leave SPSS, you have to save that file on the OneDrive. Just one more thing before we end this video. As I said, you can choose anything, any application that's available out of the 262 applications to run virtually. If you need to use Microsoft Excel, you can do that. If you click on all available, then it will list all available applications. And you see that there are lots of them, some of them graphic, graphics, some of them for business, some of them for programming, and so on. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.